everyone, welcome to this test night episode of the Outdoor Gear Review. Yes, it is daytime right now, but later on tonight, strong storms are heading in. So I'm going to take this dry time to set up the Kelty One Man Filled Tent. Let's see how waterproof this tent is, and let's see how well it handles condensation. Overall, folks, the setup process for this tent is very, very easy. It's quick, it's simple, it makes sense. At the time of filming, this tent costs right at $90. And it just so happens to be that I really do like this tent. But I have yet to use it in heavy rainfall. I need to know just how waterproof it is. I'm excited to find out. But I have to say, I am worried. The two vents, one on each side, I mean, they are almost completely even with the top of the tent. So with like sideways rain, water could potentially come through there. That might be an issue, it might not be, I don't know. We will find out together. Okay, here we go. I'm going to leave this tent set up for numerous days. They are calling for flash flooding. This will be a very good test of this tent to see how waterproof it is. I will spend the night in this tent during one of those heavy rain events, more than likely tomorrow night, to see how well it performs. Condensation is an issue with this tent. I know this already, but I want to see just how bad it can be when it's 100% sealed up. It has been 24 hours since I set up the Kelty tent, and there are a few points to mention. Since setting up this tent, we've had nothing but light rain, just enough to wet the material. And of course, it is windy, as you may be able to see, the wind is blowing this rain around. And that's a good thing, because it really does show the weakness of this tent. Take a look at how short the lip is on this vent. Rain blows around, and it gets through this hole. Everything here is wet. And that's from being blown in, it's from splashing, and it's going inside of the tent. You can see the issues here even more so on this side. I have all the information that I need in regards to those vents. They are terribly placed, very poorly thought out. I am going to close them up. Otherwise, this tent will simply leak. Especially with the rain that is coming in tonight. I spoke yesterday about the rain that was coming in. Well, it turns out that it's a tropical storm now. Tropical storm Bertha is on the way, and they say that we could get some flooding from it. We shall see. So without a doubt, this tent is going to see some action. One more thing that I wanna talk about here is the waterproofing that was done on this tent. When I first received it, it was very chalky feeling. Kind of strange, to be honest. Over the course of time, I've begun noticing some light spots developing on the fly. The waterproofing from those spots is gone. You can see it. The tent remains waterproof to this day, but that is definitely strange. I've never seen that before with a tent. I have no idea exactly what is happening here. I don't know, very strange. So later on this afternoon, heavy rains are supposed to move in and that will continue throughout the night. At some point in time, I will come back. I may sleep in the tent tonight. I'm not sure about that. It may be tomorrow night. Afternoon update with the Kelty one person filled tent. The tent continues to be dry on the inside and it's been raining pretty good off and on all day. Right now we are at the one inch mark 
as far as rain goes. And so far this tent has done very, very well. You can easily see the spots where the waterproofing has come off. It's so weird. It's so random. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven spots here on the front. It's just all over. It's just really, really interesting. I'm going to leave the tent out overnight in the rain. Tomorrow night I will camp in it so we can test that closed up condensation issue. It is going to be an issue. There's no doubt about this. I've already had issues, as I mentioned before, with this tent, but I've yet to camp in it and seal it up 100%. I've heard from a friend of mine who purchased this tent that it's pretty bad. It's pretty bad, and I believe him. The design of this tent screams condensation, and one reason for that is the fly design. If you want to have lots and lots of condensation, you limit airflow, and a good way to limit airflow is to have the fly go all the way down to the ground. There is about a one inch gap between the fly and the ground itself, so very, very little airflow is going to go underneath that to circulate, to get rid of that condensation, to really move that moisture. And because of that, this is a condensation machine. It really is. And also, the materials themselves, whatever they've been impregnated with, they're not very breathable. And that's why you will get the condensation even with both doors open. Also folks, before I get out of here, we have to talk about those vents. I closed them and that was a very wise move. Even in light rain, water makes its way through those vents. So if there's a chance of rain, close them. If it is raining, close them. If it's a nice night, you can leave it open, but you have to be careful or you will get wet. Inside of the Kelty one person filled tent and let's see how well it does with condensation. After three days of rain, heavy rain, no leaking inside of this tent at all. It is, without a doubt, 100% waterproof. As long as you close those vents, those vents, they suck. Very poor positioning. Outside of that, everything in here is good to go. Now tonight is a very important test. Condensation. How bad will it be? There is only one way to find out, and that's to seal this tent up 100%. It is still raining outside just a little bit. So the tent is waterproof. Let's see how it does with condensation. Everyone, good night for now. I will see you all in the morning. Good morning, everybody. Last night it rained for a good hour or so, and then it dried up, and a nice breeze came through. And that has helped with the condensation quite a bit. At the moment, there is condensation. Everything here is damp. But in truth, it's not terrible. With this tent, condensation can be an issue. Sometimes it can be rather bad. The material here on the floor is very thick and also these walls, it's not very breathable. So oftentimes you will find lots of condensation developing here. When it comes to the condensation here on the walls, it is rather extreme. This material here is not very breathable. The fly is dripping wet. All of that is on the inside. You can see all of the moisture here on the inside of the fly. It looks like the tent leaked, but it didn't. This is just all condensation. Overall, everyone, this tent presents itself as a very interesting option. This is on sale at the time of filming for $90. And for $90, I can't think of a better military tent. It's not perfect, though. You have to keep that in mind. And it is having the weird issues with the waterproofing in the spots. But so far, that doesn't seem to affect the tent at all. And folks, I will leave you all with that. If you have a question for me, email me. Make sure to comment down below. Share your thoughts. What do you all think about this tent? Strength and honor. See you all soon. Bye.